It isn't all doom and gloom. There are some glimmers of hope when it comes to climate change. First, there's a growing activism. And realization across society that we need to rapidly reduce our carbon footprint. Net zero by 2050, blah, 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 net zero, blah, 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 climate neutral, blah, blah, blah. Words that sound great, but so far has led to no action. Second, the UK has cleaned up its electricity faster than any other major economy. Back in 2010, more than three quarters of it was generated from fossil fuels. Only a small proportion was from renewables. Now more of electricity comes from wind, solar and hydro than coal and gas. How did that happen? Well, great leaps in renewable technology and efficient production lines have cut costs. By 2025, solar farms are expected to produce electricity at half the cost of a gas power station. Third, electric cars are also accelerating. The best-selling car in the UK in September 2021 was the Tesla Model 3, and it was pure electric. Sales of electric cars are up 88% on this time last year. And in Europe, sales are expected to pass 1 million in a year for the first time ever. Energy and transport are big sources of carbon, so going green is helping the global effort to cut greenhouse gas emissions. It doesn't get much more important than the environment at the end of the day, does it? With the pandemic, it makes a step back a bit and just look at the world a bit. It's going to be inconvenient, it's going to be very expensive. But people are protesting that we're burning the planet. At the Paris Climate Summit in 2015, countries agreed to limit warming to below 2 degrees and aim for 1.5 by the end of the century. Before that, some climate projections suggested the world was on course to warm by 4 or maybe even 5 degrees. Even with all the efforts to cut carbon, the world is still a way off the Paris target. At the moment, we're heading for a temperature rise of 2.7 Celsius by the end of the century, assuming countries make good on their promises. So progress in reducing emissions doesn't mean we can relax. Time is running out if we're to avoid the worst effects of climate change.